In this one we'll have a look at return type declarations. So we use these to enforce a particular type which you want to be returned from a method to make sure that the, the code which calls those methods isn't getting expected values back, it's getting the type that it wants. So what we can do here is we'll actually go and make sure that when we ask for the length of this playlist we get an integer back. So public function, I will say get length. And so the way that you uh, declare a return type is after the closing parentheses of the method name, we add a colon and then the type. And so for this one, it will be an integer. And then we drop onto the next line and we add our opening and closing curly brackets. And so I'm just going to say return count this songs. Okay, and then I'll create a new file which we'll use to play around with this and we'll call it return type declarations. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is actually borrow some of the code from the class type declarations and we'll just require once the playlist, we'll get the song and then we'll get from down to here. That should be pretty good. We'll copy that over, drop that in there. I'm just going to re uh, remove that. And so it adds two songs. And then what we'll do is we'll check uh, the playlist. And if it's shorter than 10 songs, we'll print out a message. So if playlist get length is less than 10, print short playlist. Okay, so we only added two songs, so we should see that message here. So PHP return type declarations, short playlist. However, if we went back to our playlist, and for whatever reason, uh, this method was returning a string instead of an integer, so we'll just hard code something in there, I'll call it four songs, and then if we go on and run this, so now we get a PHP fatal error, and look what it says, uncut type error, playlist get length, return value must be of type int string returned, because we returned a string from the method when it's actually meant to return an integer, and by forcing or by Declaring that an integer should be returned, it means, again, that the code which uses it knows it's predictable, it should always um, reliably receive an integer. This was a bit of a, a silly example because we just hard-coded in four songs there, but you can imagine that this method might be doing lots of other things, and so it could get caught up in situations where... Uh, it is possible for it to return the wrong value, especially if it had received uh, the wrong type of values in this, in the as an argument. But again, like I say, uh, it's just an example to show you how type returns actually work. So we'll finish off by changing this back to the way it was. Count this songs, and then we'll run it again. Okay, great. If you have methods which don't actually return anything, you can use a special pseudo type, and that is void. And so when I'm adding the song here, it's not return anything, it's just adding a song to the songs uh, array. So here, because I don't I want to say that I'm not returning anything, then I can just say void, and then my code will know uh, what to expect there.